about to paint an awesome dolphin mask. So when you're working with neons, which are really fun and bright, um, they can be a little bit hard to brush on. So we're using a sponge. By using the yellow in the middle, it's going to make this look like a sunset. Let's try and keep it as balanced as you can. One of my favorite parts about this mask is you don't need really clean edges because we're going to change all of those. Next we're grabbing a blue split and we're going to come up from here and we're going to do two flicks up and then we're going to pull them around and this creates the border of our mask. So just go around whatever you've sponged in this nice scallopy shape ending in some little tear tops. The next side scoop is going to go down. And then again, we're just going to follow this around with the scooping shape. And this part, we want to have it be symmetrical right there. Now, we're going to do a couple of dolphins. And the way I like to do them is think of it as one giant teardrop. So we're going to pull one teardrop up this way, there. And then we're going to bring in the nose. And we're going to bring in a little bottom fin. And then we're going to paint the tail. And make sure the top of the fin on a dolphin isn't here. It's always in the middle. So we can put that fin in. And then we're going to put the second dolphin right up here. So we're going to do a teardrop shape that just follows that. Put in the bottom, put in a nose, and the fin and the tail, and then the top fin right there. Okay. So now we're painting water, and water is my favorite thing to paint because it really doesn't matter. You just want to have a direction for it to flow. Go ahead and do some teardrops, a little breaking splash there. Maybe another one, pull it back. Some more teardrops coming down. Maybe a little bit of a break there underneath the wave, and a couple more teardrops. Maybe a little shadow. As we come along down here, we're just gonna grab some more of those. We're gonna bring a little bit of a splash there. We'll grab a little one here. And then we're going to do two lines over here. So we're gonna bring in our first level right there. And then we're gonna bring in this second level right underneath it. And we can put in a few little dots on this side, a few little dots on that side. Then we're gonna paint one circle right here for the eye on this dolphin. Now I like to do my eyes pretty big because it makes the little animals look a little bit cuter. Let's go ahead and add some little splashing dots under that eye and some over here. Okay, perfect. Now you can add some of our little stars, but this is under the sea. So we want to maybe not have quite as many as you would normally have. Okay, so we're gonna come back up over the top. Adding that little S curve makes it look more like a dolphin and less like a shark. I'm gonna trace the tail, then cut in just a little so that we have a bump for the nose and come up and do a little smile on that dolphin. And then lightly trace around the eye. Some little eyelashes, then put in the jaw, come down, get a bottom fin and come up. Little eyebrow. Now by putting the little sparkle light mark right on the front of the eye, it's going to look like it is looking up at this dolphin. We're gonna go up on the top, put in our S curve, trace down the back, cut in, smile, and other arc, chin, little eyebrow, and then we'll put our little highlight there. Okay, now we can go ahead and add some sparkle to it. Instead of the crystal sparkle, I'm going to add just a little bit of gold sparkle there to the middle. Just go ahead and trace the lips. Up there. Okay.